everyone, welcome back to our mental health series. Today we're addressing mental health and work. Did you know that as of 2022, mental health issues related to work are significant? According to the World Health Organization, depression and anxiety disorders are amongst the leading causes of disability worldwide. And the workplace plays a significant role in contributing to these conditions. Research suggests that a considerable portion of the global workforce experiences mental challenges due to work-related stressors. For example, a study by the American Institute of Stress found that job stress is the leading source of stress for American adults, with around 80% of the workers reporting stress related to their job. Furthermore, the WHO estimates that depression and anxiety disorders cost the global economy over one trillion per year in lost productivity. So, if you have ever felt stress, anxiety or depression due to your work or professional life, or perhaps you're experiencing it right now, stick around as in this video we will talk about work-life balance, exploring how finding harmony between our professional and personal lives can lead to greater well-being and fulfillment. Whilst the statistics I've shared underscore the importance of addressing mental health in the workplace and companies implementing strategies to support employee well-being, in this video, we will talk about what can you do as an individual to take charge of your mental well-being at work. But let's first understand the impact of work on mental health. Imagine your life as a mix of work and personal time. Kind of like a juggling act, but sometimes work starts to hog the spotlight, leaving less room for everything else. It's like trying to walk a tightrope between giving your all to your job and making sure you don't neglect your personal life and well-being. So why does this matter? Well, when work takes over, it can really mess with our mental health. Imagine feeling like you're drowning in deadlines or suffocating under the weight of expectations. It's stressful, right? And that stress doesn't just stay at office. It follows us home, affecting our relationships, sleep and overall happiness. But here's the thing. Finding that sweet spot between work and personal life isn't just about feeling balanced. It's crucial for our mental health. When we're constantly overwhelmed by work, it can lead to burnout, anxiety and even depression. Plus, neglecting our personal lives can leave us feeling isolated and disconnected from things that bring us joy. So striking that balance isn't just a nice idea. It's actually essential for staying mentally healthy because when we take care of our mental health, we're better equipped to tackle whatever challenges come our way at work and beyond. There are four ways we can ensure we maintain that balance. Setting boundaries is like drawing a line in the sand, marking where work ends and personal life begins. Without clear boundaries, work can take over a personal time, leaving us feeling overwhelmed and drained. Imagine your life as a giant puzzle with work and personal time as two important pieces. Now, setting boundaries is like drawing a clear line between them, making sure they don't overlap too much. And there is a good reason to do this. When work starts creeping into your personal life, it can cause all sorts of problems. You might find yourself constantly checking emails during family dinners or working late into the night instead of relaxing. And over time, this can take a toll on your relationships, leaving you feel disconnected from the people you really care about. That's why setting boundaries is so important. It's about protecting your personal time and making sure you have the space to recharge and enjoy life outside of work. So don't be afraid to draw that line in the sand and stick to it. Your mental health and your relationships will thank you for it. Lack of time or the perception of lack of time is one of the key reasons people find coping at work really stressful. Your day is like a canvas waiting to be painted with each stroke representing a task or activity. But trying to cram too much into your canvas can lead to a messy, overwhelming masterpiece. One key to effective time management is keeping your to-do list realistic and manageable. Think of your to-do list as a guide, not a mandate. 
focus on the most important tasks and break them down into achievable steps. By prioritizing wisely, you can create a balanced day that leaves room for both work and personal time. For example, try breaking your day into smaller chunks and assigning specific tasks to each one. This way, you can tackle your work in manageable pieces and still have time left over for yourself. Another effective technique is the Pomodoro technique, where you work for a set amount of time, usually about 25 minutes, and then take a short break. This helps you stay focused and avoid burnout, ensuring that you have enough energy to tackle the rest of your day. And don't forget to schedule time for self-care activities like exercise, meditation, or simply just taking a walk outside. These moments of rest and rejuvenation, they're absolutely essential for maintaining your overall well-being. By mastering your schedule and making time for what truly matters, you can create a sense of balance and fulfillment in your life. There are plenty of free apps and tools available to assist with time management. There are some popular options out there like Trello, Todoist, or my personal favorite Notion. Um, they all allow you to organize tasks, set deadlines, and track your progress easily. Experiment with different tools to find the ones that work best for you and incorporate them into your daily routine for maximum efficiency. Ever notice how your job impacts your mood and mindset? It's like a ripple effect. What happens at work often spills over into your personal life. Picture this. You're at work feeling stressed and overwhelmed. As the day drags on, those negative emotions follow you home, affecting your interaction with loved ones and your ability to unwind. Now, let's flip the script. Imagine you're engaged and fulfilled at work, tackling challenges with confidence and finding satisfaction in your accomplishments. That positive energy doesn't stay confined to the office. It seeps into your personal life, enhancing your relationships and overall well-being. So why does this connection matter? Because our mental health isn't just about what happens in our heads. It's influenced by the environments we inhabit, including our workplaces. When our job aligns with our values and brings us a sense of fulfillment, it acts as a buffer against stress and burnout. But when work becomes a source of frustration or dissatisfaction, it can take a toll on our mental well-being, leading to anxiety, depression and other issues. Understanding this link between work and mental health empowers us to make intentional choices about our careers. Whether it's finding a job that resonates with our passions or making changes to improve our current situation, we have the power to prioritize our mental well-being in the workplace. By cultivating a positive work environment and prioritizing self-care, we can create a healthier, happier balance between our professional and personal lives. I've done another video on how to find a job you love and I will link it in the description box below if you want to have a look. Self-care is essential for maintaining our mental and emotional well-being, especially in the demanding environment of the workplace. It's like giving yourself a little TLC amidst the chaos of deadlines and meetings. A moment to pause, breathe and recharge. Imagine this scenario. You're halfway through a hectic workday, feeling overwhelmed and drained. Instead of pushing through the fatigue and stress, you decide to take a short break. Instead of scrolling through emails or social media, you step outside for a brief walk, allowing yourself to soak in some fresh air and sunshine. Now, as you walk, you focus on your breathing, letting go of tension with each exhale. When you return to your desk, you feel refreshed and more focused, ready to tackle the task ahead with renewed energy. Now, let's consider another scenario. You've been sitting at your desk for hours, feeling tense and anxious about an upcoming presentation. Instead of powering through the anxiety, you take a moment to practice mindfulness. You close your eyes and you bring your attention to the present moment, noticing the sensation of your breath and the weight of your body in the chair. As you become more grounded in the here and now, you may find that anxiety starts to ease, allowing you to approach the task with a clearer mind and a calmer demeanor. In both of these scenarios, practicing self-care involves prioritizing your well-being over productivity. Instead of 
pushing yourself to the brink of burnout, you recognize the importance of taking breaks, practicing mindfulness and engaging in activities that nourish your soul. Whether it's a short walk, a few minutes of deep breathing or a brief meditation session, these self-care practices help you recharge and build resilience in the face of workplace stresses. By incorporating self-care into your daily routine at work, you can better manage stress, enhance your focus and productivity and foster a healthier work-life balance. Remember, self-care isn't selfish. It's essential for sustaining your well-being and thriving in both your professional and personal life. So as we wrap up, remember that creating a healthy work-life balance is not a destination, but a journey. By setting boundaries, managing your time effectively, finding purpose and fulfillment in your work, and prioritizing self-care, you can create a life that honors your values and nurtures your well-being. So take small steps each day to cultivate balance and harmony in every aspect of your life. Your mental health and happiness are worth investing in. So embrace the journey with an open heart and a courageous spirit. That's it for this video. Join me next time as we talk about anxiety and look at some practical techniques to manage anxiety effectively. Until then, may you find joy, fulfillment and peace in every moment. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.